Hello everyone, in this section, we will primarily focus on the introductory example of parameter query, learning how to filter and query data by setting template parameters, using the parameter panel, and utilizing parameter widgets. The documentation for the introductory example of parameter query is available in the PPT. You can refer to this documentation for further study after the session. The expected effect in the example of parameter query in this section is shown in the lower right corner of the figure. By using drop-down box widget, you can select different regions and query the sales amount of different regions in the report. Through setting template parameters, using parameter panels, and using parameter widget, you can filter and query data. There are four main steps, including template design, configure widget, add filtering conditions, and preview the result. Now open the designer to operate them. Create a general report and establish database query. Retrieve all data from the sales underscore volume table using SQL query. Click OK. Click on Template in the top menu bar and select Template Parameters. Click the plus sign to add template parameters. Double-clicking on the name on the right side can rename the parameter. Change the parameter name to Region, and you can see that the name on the right has already been changed to Region. Set default value as New York, confirm it, and merge A1 to C1. Select A1, right-click to choose cell elements and insert formula, and the title needs to display the region and corresponding sales, and the region displayed is also selected in the drop-down box widget. Then type in the parameters of region plus sales, check its validity, and save it. Enter the region as subtitle, salesperson, and sales in A2, B2, and C2 respectively, and drag the corresponding data columns in the dataset into a 3 to C3. Select C3. In the right property panel, you select the cell element as basic and set data selection as summarize and sum. Select A1 to C3, add borders to the cells, center align the content, adjust font size to 12, and adjust row height and column width. Then you can set the widgets. Edit the parameter panel above. You can see in the right panel, component settings shows the parameters not generated. The parameter name is the template parameter you have set and choose add all. Select widget type as drop down box widget. In widget settings, you can see the label name is region and the widget value is New York by default. Different regions in the dataset should be displayed in the drop-down widget. So click on the data dictionary. Set the type as data query, dataset as the dataset just queried, select actual value and display value as region by default. Click OK to finish editing. Then add the conditions for the report. The expected effect is that the template can display different content according to different regions selected through the drop-down widget. Select A3, double-click on it, and select Filter in the pop-up dialog box. Parent-child cell has been selected as a filter property by default. And choose Common in Common Condition Type. Select Region in Available Columns, set Operator as equal to, choose Parameter as Filter Condition, and select the template parameter region that you just set. Click on Add and OK.
In doing so, a filtering condition based on the region is added to the content in the template. Save the template, rename it parameter query example. Choose pagination preview to preview the page, and you can see that the default value for the region is New York. Click on the query button, you will get data of sales in New York. Then click on the drop down box widget, choose California, and click on the query button. You can see that the query data has been changed to the sales in California. And if you choose pagination and not click on query, no data will be displayed. If you want to get the data corresponding to the default value in the drop down box when you first preview the template, you need to edit the parameter panel. Find Component Setting panel on the right side, click PAR button on the top of it, and uncheck the Display Nothing Before Query. Save the template, preview again. This time previewing the template, you can get the data of default value in the drop-down widget. That's all about parameter query example, and everyone can learn further based on our videos and help documents.